Hey family, how you doing? It's your boy Yemi. I don't want to talk about a topic. Um, it's something that the Holy Ghost woke me up last night to talk to me about actually. And uh, it's, just, it's, a, it's an interesting topic. It's called the superior language. That's, that's what I'm titling it, the superior language. And uh, the Holy Ghost started out by this. He asked me, um, what's the most superior language given to mankind? on planet earth i thought that was a pretty weird question but the, the more i got into it with god the more i was seeing what he was trying to say do you know that more than 20 percent of the people in the world speak the english language that's one in every five people speak the english language uh, so i was thinking okay that's the most prominent language on earth that must be the most superior uh language right and god started to reveal to me he said the most superior language given to man is speaking in tongues or what some call the heavenly language now i promised i was going to go through some scripture the the most familiar text for speaking in tongues or speaking the heavenly language is first corinthians 14 i'm going to be using the amplified version i'm just going to hone in on uh, a few of the verses not too many but just a few of the verses just to elucidate some items here and you know bring out some stuff here that um, hopefully you appreciate. I encourage you to read the whole chapter, but let's start with 1 Corinthians 14 too, right? Bible says, Amplified, for one who speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not to men, but to God. Wow, I could just stop there, that's powerful. You know, when you speak English, you speak Mandarin, as powerful as those languages are, you're speaking and other people may comprehend what you're saying. But when you speak, in tongues you're speaking directly to god you know the president of the united states and many countries uh have a direct line and usually that line is used to talk with other presidents other heads of state or very important people when there are very important messages and it's a direct line if you call that line or someone patches you through to that line you get the president's attention well, speaking in tongues is a direct line to God, the creator of the universe. You have God's air when you speak in tongues because you're not speaking to men, you're speaking to God. So every time God sees one of his kids speaking in tongues, he's speaking mysteries, he's speaking truths. He's speaking that spiritual language that not even demons understand. For it says, for no one understands or catches his meaning. It's when you're speaking in tongues, verse two. Because in the Holy Spirit, he utters secret truths and hidden things, not obvious to the understanding. Think about that. He utters secret truths and hidden things, hidden from demons, hidden from other people around you, hidden from even angels, and guess what? Hidden from you. So only God understands those truths. And when we speak in that mysterious language, God begins to un unlock those truths to us, for he utters secret truths. Wouldn't it be great if we could un unlock the truths about our lives? <laughs> you know, man is so limited, we don't even know one second into the future. That's how limited we are. But God, who knows the end from the beginning, who's the author and the finisher of our faith, he knows these truths. And one of the ways of unlocking these truths is through speaking the heavenly language. Because in the Holy Spirit, he utters secret truths and hidden things. So God is letting us know that these things are hidden. And every time something is hidden, it typically behind a door, some kind of a safe, right? And you need a key, you need the password, you need to unlock it so that it's no longer hidden. That's what God's trying to get out to us here. He doesn't want these things to be locked up in the spirit realm. He wants us to unlock those things. And if you were to pray always with your intelligence or often with your intelligence, we are selling ourselves short. We're not using this heavenly language to unlock these hidden things, these secret truths. It's interesting because uh, tongues is so powerful that immediately you start speaking in tongues, it arrests demons. Because 
they don't even know what you're saying. And they know how powerful it is. They don't know if you're praying that God sends down his fire. The Bible says a fire goes before him, consuming all his enemies. <laughs> they don't know what you're praying. So they've been sent on assignment by their captain, Satan. And I hear you go praying in tongues and it's arresting them because they don't know what's going on. Man, we got to pray in tongues more often. We got to pray in the heavenly language the more often. Let's go to verse four real quick. He who speaks in a strange tongue edifies and improves himself. <laughs> he edifies. Now, I looked up that word edifies. What does that mean? Right? Enlightening oneself. So as you're speaking, you're enlightening yourself. As you're speaking, you're instructing yourself. Edification is instructing yourself. And it is uplifting. Man, if every time you got into a, a quandary or you got into some kind of situation or something like that, if we spoke in tongues, man, we would be edifying ourselves, uplifting ourselves because we don't know what we're asking. We may be asking the Holy Spirit to who's the who's the comforter, who's the standby, who's our advocate, who's our go-between. We may be asking him to to comfort us. As we speak in tongues, like we can't do uh, um, as effectively in English. And then the Bible goes on to say, and improves himself and improves himself. Now, who doesn't want to improve themselves? So as you're speaking in tongues, each time we speak in tongues, we're improving ourselves. Not my word. That's the word. He who speaks in a strange tongue edifies and improves himself. That's the word of God. Man, that's great. So why don't we look at verse 15 real quick. Unlock something there. Then what am I to do? I will pray with my spirit by, by the Holy Spirit that is within me. But I'll also pray intelligently with my mind and understanding. So this is not to negate praying in English or praying in your native tongue. It's not to negate that at all. But we already started seeing praying with the heavenly language has, has so many benefits that if we were to truly try and do this thing, if we were to put some math behind it, we would probably be praying 70% in tongues and 30% in English. Whenever your, your situation is, is, is not the way you think it should be, on your job, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray, pray under your breath. Watch this. Under my breath. Lips don't even have to move that much. You know what I'm saying? And and you may be asking God to release angels to go into secret meetings where they're, they're making decisions on your behalf, you know, moving in your favor. You may be asking God to, to, to bring that promotion supernaturally on your behalf. You may be asking God to intervene. Oh, oh my goodness. Before you send back that reply email, <laughs> that email where you want to show that person what's up, why don't you speak in tongues? Why don't you speak in tongues? It'll calm your spirit down. Pray everywhere, in, in under your breath, in, in the heavenly language, on your job. Those of you in school, pray in, in school. You know, pray under, when you reach that problem that uh, on that exam, you know, pray under your breath in, in, in tongues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I watch these, um, these dudes, dudes who love rap. I used to love rap. I used to love rap a lot. Um, and you see them with their earphones in and they're, they're like, yo, take the case of Nigeria. Things are getting scarier. Was walking down the street into a generated area. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, they, they don't, they're not bashful about speaking rap music. So, so you know what I said, you know, I saw one of them one, one, one of these days and I'm like, man, that dude, man, he's going on and on. So I put, I put my AirPods in and I was like, hey, and I'm bopping my head like, you know, I got some jam going on, but I'm edifying myself. I'm enlightening myself. I'm, 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 I'm lifting myself. I'm, I'm speaking mysteries in a direct line to God. And then he goes on to say, I will sing with my spirit by the Holy Spirit that is within me. That praise worship leader who has suddenly become unanointed because they're not singing your song is singing that song that you don't like so much. Sing in tongues. Follow the rhythm. It's one of the purest forms of worship. Because you're praying mysteries unto God. The Bible tells us that when we don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit helps us 
with utterances that we cannot come. We don't even understand what we're saying. So this, this heavenly language is a powerful tool that we've got to use more often. This is Paul speaking to the Corinthians. I thank God that I speak in strange tongues, languages, more than any of you or all of you put together. Look, Paul's boasting about speaking in tongues and he's saying, I'm, I speak in tongues more than any of y'all. So just think about that. So he's saying, listen, I'm proud about the fact that I speak in tongues a lot. Based on that, you know, set a goal for yourself to pray more in the spirit this year. Put a reminder on your, your fancy Apple watch. You know, we got these Apple watches, right? Uh, they buzz us every time, you know, we've been sitting too long and, and, and so on and so forth. Have your program, your watch to buzz you every, every time, you know, hey, have you spoken in tongues or your phone? You know, to just give you a reminder. Have you spoken in tongues? Put it every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes. Hey, even if you ignore one or two because you're in meetings or whatever. But it, it starts to establish that habit of speaking in tongues. Over your children, speak the language. Let them call you crazy. They call Jesus crazy. <laughs> Why can't they call you crazy? Now, over sickness. Father, take away this, this, this whatever from my body. And just go in the tongues. Go in the tongues, speak that heavenly language and, and let the Holy Ghost take over and, and, and go into places where, where even the, when the doctors can't diagnose what's going on. The Holy Ghost knows what's going on. Yeah, over your spouse, wives, wives, wives. Whenever your husband doesn't want to listen to you, speak in tongues. Not to him, because he'll think you've really gone crazy. <laughs> but... But go, go report him to the Holy Ghost. My wife does that to me all the time. You know, whenever we get into a spat or something like that, she just reports me to the Holy Ghost. Before you make major decisions and small ones, speak in tongues. Speak in tongues, man. When shopping, you might be praying for, for others who, who you're passing by. When, when you're shopping, when you're speaking in tongues, you might be praying. Holy Ghost, convict, com convince this individual, you know. And over your neighborhood, you know, if we are ambassadors for Christ within our neighborhoods, we can just start small. Start within your neighborhood. Don't boil the ocean. Start within your neighborhood and impact the spirit realm of the atmosphere in your neighborhood. That's why God put you in that geographic location. He didn't just put you there in that apartment building or in that house so that you can just, you know, wake Wake up, go to work, come back, sleep. Wake up, go to work, come back, sleep. No, he put you there so that you can impact the neighborhood, you can impact the neighbors. You know, call your neighbor's name and just stop speaking in tongues. Call the atmosphere. Father, this geographic location I stay in, release your power into, into the atmosphere, Lord God. Release your angels, Lord God Almighty, to upset every altar, every altar that is against the knowledge of Jesus Christ within, within a 15-mile radius of, of this place that I live at, Lord God. Lord God, in this apartment building, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I, I want you to, to infiltrate every single apartment in the apartment building in the name of Jesus and then just go into tongues and let the Holy Spirit do his thing. You're speaking mysteries. You're unlocking truths. And guess what? The devil doesn't know what you're praying. So when he doesn't know what you're praying, he can't enter into his threefold ministry effectively. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, family, use that special language that God has given us. He didn't have to give us this this heavenly language to speak in tongues. He knew we, were, we could speak in English or whatever our native tongue is. But since he's given us these, this heavenly language so that we can have an advantage, why don't we use it? God bless. If this was a blessing to you, uh, please remember to subscribe. You know, look down and, and, and subscribe. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Share it with friends. Share it with family. You never know. Even if it touches one person's life, Heaven rejoices over one soul. Also click the notification bell so that you can get further of these um, these takes that I do. Uh, if they're a blessing to you um, and, and let me know, you know, give me your comments and let me know how this is working for you. All right, family. God bless you.